It's getting colder in China, so work hard to earn money for a pair of trousers that cover your knees. So, so she's clearly wearing pants and trousers in the other videos. So with everyone being super, super serious about, uh, you know, the presidential debates and all that kind of stuff, I for one preferred the anime version, but I figured it's a good time, especially with me coming out of the hospital, just to have a nice, uh, fun experience today. Hey Loaners, it's Loudy6 here with another video, and you guys seem to enjoy when I expose the dastardly deeds of many, I don't know, maybe government initiatives on TikTok specifically. This one is not so much a government initiative, but a hilarious potential scam that I have uncovered. But first I want to say rest in peace to Indian TikTok. Um, India did ban TikTok a while back, and I'm going to miss the stellar content that came out of that beautiful country. I think India does win the best creativity award, the best editing award. All of that, uh, all of the accolades should go to India in terms of TikTok quality. Now, when I peruse around Douyin, which is the Chinese version, the original version of TikTok, I like to find some interesting content, uh, you know, coming out of China. It helps me keep my finger on the pulse of, you know, what's going on in social media and stuff. It's heavily restricted, it's heavily censored and stuff, obviously coming out of China, one of the lowest ratings of, of freedom in the entire world. That being said, there is some funny content that you can actually find on there. However, I'm now seeing a lot of repurposed content that goes over to American TikTok. A lot of that being government soft power stuff, a lot of soft power directed at Westerners trying to change the narrative of actually what's happening in mainland China. But there's also a lot of hilarious repurposed stuff like what you may have been seeing on your TikTok feed if you're actually on TikTok. For those of you not in the know, there are these accounts that are basically taking Douyin content, so the original Chinese content, and then repurposing it with computerized voices, which is just hilarious to me. And my favorite, there's a bunch of these accounts, but my favorite account is this one called uh, Made9822. So it all started with this very clip. These are girls in China, living in the remote mountains, who have to build their own fires and cook their own food every day. They aspire to go out of the mountains and live in developed countries. So we can see in this video um, a well-dressed girl with uh, dyed hair and decent clothing living in a hut as she's burning sticks to cook her own food. Now, the funny thing is, is that originally on the Douyin videos, on the, the Chinese version of these, the whole stick, the whole theme is that there's a pretty girl, a Mainu, as they say, doing something that a normal Chinese girl wouldn't do. It's very uncharacteristic for a young, pretty Chinese girl to be doing any sort of manual labor or, you know, living in poor rural conditions like this if their makeup is so good. So it's like a, it's like a shock and awe type thing. But they've repurposed it for the Western audience now to say like, look at how sad and pathetic everything is over in China, like, but these girls are so resilient and awesome. They brought in a new character, who is uh, this girl that works in like a machine factory. This is my sister, she's 28 years old, loves machine tool work, and has no boyfriend so far. She works 15 hours a day and she loves buying lipstick and clothes. So keep, keep this one in mind. This girl, she is working 15 hours a day. Uh, because she's got to fuel her expensive habits. She likes makeup and pretty clothes. But it goes, it gets so much better. The lore continues. I work 10 hours a day just to save money to study abroad and I hope my brother and sister support me. Thank you all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought you worked 15 hours a day. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Now it's 10 hours a day because her dream is to study abroad. So. She is fueling her expensive habits of lipstick and makeup 15 hours a day, and then she, she cuts down her hours apparently because she just wants to go abroad now to study. My favorite are these comments. We have this, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna poke fun, too much fun at these guys because they're obviously being duped by this um, very natural computer voice and these very organic videos, but uh, Brent over here says, what can I possibly do to make your life easier? And very genuine, he says, much much love from Canada. I uh, got some people below that saying, <laughs> these old men on X Games mode. <laughs> Y'all Canadians gotta chill. Um, this guy named Tim, he's, he's American, so at least we can pass the blame over to America. It says, you can come to me to study. <laughs> but then this clever girl down here says, I thought it was 15 hours and saving up for an iPhone. Keep your story straight. But the lore and her, her story continues. Payday today. It's fun. A dance in the workshop. 
If you guys like me, be sure to like me and follow me. I'll be posting videos of my work every day on TikTok. So he got paid that day. And this is where the money kind of enters the whole picture. This is where the love triangle begins. This is where all of the drama starts. Today my boss told me that his son likes me and wants me to go out with him and he's giving me a $50 a month raise but I don't like his son. What should I do? I'm in pain. <laughs> she's in she's in pain. This is a difficult decision. Now, when I first started getting these like recommended to me, I initially thought this is gonna end up turning into gold, but it just ended up turning into so much more gold than I thought it would because they continued like this very sloppy storyline. The people start getting invested. So the initial skeptics, they kind of get pushed down. The up, most upvoted people, they're on top now. Um, these comments are the ones that kind of believe and want to support her. So this guy says, do it either way. You get a $50 raise. And if things don't work out, you can leave him, right? This is now becoming the worst soap opera of all time. It's literally a cell phone video with a Google Translate voice, but people are invested now. This guy says, say no. So obviously there's some jealousy involved. You know, you know, the, a lot of people say, listen, this boss's son is involved and if you don't like him, you better get out of there because because you're mine, right? He's got some white knighting going on here. Uh, this guy says he values you at $50 a month. And this guy's just, he's, he's mistaken, it's a $50 raise, okay? A little more money trouble comes in, and this is where I'm gonna preface the idea that around this time when she started posting this, he or she started posting this type of content, um, I started to be skeptical and to now start thinking that this is not just for views, they're probably working on building this account, this lore of this account, and getting these like older gentlemen involved and then potentially monetizing it by putting a link to PayPal or WeChat Pay or Alipay or something like that so that they can potentially make money off of it. This is my theory now, is that this is repurposed content from Douyin to make money by scamming people because there's more and more tragic stories like this one. It's getting colder in China, so work hard to earn money for a pair of trousers that cover your knees. <laughs> so she's clearly wearing pants and trousers in the other videos, uh, but apparently she's lost them. Maybe they got caught up in the in the lathe, in the machinery, I'm not sure. Uh, but this one brought everyone out of the woodwork. We even got Chinese people saying, wo shi huan, that means I, I like it. Uh, Hi, gorgeous. Someone said, I am Groot. Um, good one, funny, funny guy. This is serious, she can't even afford pants. I'm here with a lot of hearts and loving faces. Hi. This one got a lot of comments. 76 people came out of the woodworks at the time to uh, to show their support. Completely ignoring the fact that she clearly owns plenty of jeans. But it continues. The bearing rods are done. My sister is loading them up and after dinner, she's driving the van by herself to deliver them. She wants to make more money to find a boyfriend. This is the continuous thing that made me all skeptical is that they keep asking, indirectly asking for money. It's like, she needs money for a boyfriend. If you've been to China, you would know that the woman is not expected to pay for anything. It's very much the opposite. Like the man is expected to, to, to foot the bill for everything in China. So this idea um, would only kind of appeal to Western sensibilities like bleeding heart types. And you can see that in the comments. It says, no need for money to find a boyfriend. I can help her in everything. Notice he doesn't say I can help you. He's not even talking to her. He's talking to everyone else. Iceman is talking to all the other potential suitors in the comments here. Vincent, this this lovely old gentleman says, she already got what it takes. The heart's in his eyes. No money required. And then this Ger Geronimo over here, a slick looking dude says, I like your sister. <laughs> so now you get these invested people and I saw these guys pop up um, in later comments for some of the other videos. So, so it continues with them kind of playing a major part in her story. My sister is so passionate about machine tools that at 28 she doesn't have a boyfriend yet and would love to find one on TikTok. She wants to go live abroad. So now we have her appeals to like, oh, now she really wants to go abroad and, and her goal is to find a, a, a potential suitor slash husband slash boyfriend on TikTok. So now these guys, these guys really went for it. Now it says, Al over here says, okay, I would love her to come back to Norwalk, California, USA. And the thread I love, this guy goes, bro, chill. And he goes, Is she, if she's available, I'm taking her back to Norwalk, California, whether you like it or not. And he spelled weather like the actual weather, like it's raining. And then he comes back and he goes, oh, cool. Is she available? 
and then Lar comes back. He hits back hard and he goes, maybe you should t t uh, take some common sense as well as a dictionary back to Norwalk, California, USA. And then Al comes back with a straight fire and rips him to shreds because he's gonna fight for this girl. Who, by the way, she, we haven't given her a name yet. We gotta come up with something. He says, you're a, you're a little boy still living with your mom. What do you have to show? My house and apartments buildings are paid, my son. All you have is a shack. Damn, if this chick is watching this, the chick with the, the machine working chick, I think Al is the one that's taking her back to Norwalk. I think he he wins, especially with all these property investments. I mean, this, this Lars guy, he shut up after that because all he has is a shack. He obviously can't afford to pay his internet bills, for God's sakes. I work 15 hours a day, make $12, and work 30 days so I can buy an iPhone I like go to work. It's only a used iPhone, but I still love it. Okay, so she's gone 15 hours to 10 hours, back to 15 hours a day, but now, instead of her trying to buy pants, or trying to study abroad, or trying to fuel her expensive lipstick and makeup habits, now she wants to buy a used iPhone. So... We're seeing some some real plot holes here, guys. I think we should be uh, paying very close attention to what her motives are. Don't worry, though. We have the whole brigade of white knights here. Uh, Richard Bong Delendo, <laughs> which I'm sorry to laugh at your name. I apologize. Um, hi, babe. I'm here for you. That's good. Uh, Forever Jeep 101 had he had to come in. He couldn't. He couldn't help it. He couldn't help it. He had to make a comparison. He said, "I work 12 hours a day." He had to make sure that she, she knows that he's hardworking as well. This guy says, and American citizens cry about how hard their lives are in the free world. We got one of these guys. <laughs> this guy over here, this guy, this is the most genuine comment I've seen. He goes, Kenton over here goes, teach me how to use that machine. He's genuinely interested. He might actually make some money off this. You know, he might, might get a job doing this kind of stuff. He might be actually inspired by what she's doing. Now, to throw a little jealousy in here, there's some cultural context with this one. I'll let you watch it first. My brother has been taking me out for big meals for the past few days, and I feel like I've gained a lot of weight, so will you guys dislike me? Now, some cultural context there is, oftentimes, if a Chinese girl wants another guy to feel jealous or treat her better, she'll talk about someone like in the context of her brother. Now, this is usually, it's not even someone that's related to her. It's like some guy that she's friend zoned that is trying his damnedest to take her out for meals or buy her stuff, iPhones, purses, all this kind of stuff. And she'll be like, oh, he's just my brother. Don't worry about him. It's kind of like that meme, like that guy that she told you not to worry about. It's that. And Number one, can we point out something? This is not even the same girl, all right? They got so lazy, and this is typical of, of Chinese scams slash Chinese soft power propaganda. It's just so lazy that they couldn't even continue a common thread. But thank God, these a lot of these older white knights won't even be able to tell the difference between her and the other girl, let's be totally honest. This is going to appeal to the people that are, um, Chinese people that would potentially feel jealous about this. But it didn't, it kind of fell uh, on, a, on deaf ears because there's no, there's that kind of concept in the West doesn't exist as much to a certain extent, as uh, to as much of an extent as it does in China. Uh, but what people did say was, the bigger the better, more to love. So they kind of want her to put on a couple pounds. This guy says bone, because she's just bones apparently. Look just fine, said Demon Hand 602. And then this guy, Tet Tetsuya F down here, he goes, you'll gain more if you're with me. So you get a little bit of a feeder, feeder over here. So let's continue this. Now, if we go back to the original thing about the boss's son, we have another theme of jealousy here. And what I've noticed is that these videos in succession, if we're looking at this girl's story, is that it's either about money, it's about her, you know, she's suffering so much because she has to work in this, in this job, or now we're following the jealousy theme here. So let's see what happened when she went on that date, which she did do. She went on that date with the boss's son that she didn't like. Today on payday, the boss's son took me rollerblading. And after rollerblading, he insisted on taking me to a hotel for the night, but I feel like I have to go home. Do you think I did the right thing? So, she didn't like the boss's son, but now we have another theme of jealousy because she did go on a date with him. If you turn down the boss's son, you might lose your job, right? So she goes on this roller skating date. By the way, they said rollerblading. How amateur of you. It's clearly roller skating. And number two, it's a different girl again. But... 
Let's pretend like it's the original lathe working girl that makes like $12 a day. They're playing on the heartstrings of the people that are invested in this girl and think that they have a chance with this girl. So let's go and Trump 2020 says, tell him he's going too fast. Slow his advances and string him along. Ooh, he's kind of like, this is kind of like, he probably gets mad at his wife for watching too many, uh, too many soap operas, but secretly he's on TikTok watching his very own soap opera based out of China. Rick goes, hell yes. Because she asked, did I do the right thing, right? I told him, no, I'm not going to that hotel room. Rick was, he was probably, his heart was pounding when he watched that. And he was probably super, super happy at the end of the day that she didn't go home with him. Uh, next guy says, of course, please hang on. You did the right thing. Thank God. So playing on the heartstrings of all the people involved, um, but she didn't do it. She didn't do it. So she's still available. She's still looking for that TikTok boyfriend. Hopefully she can string that guy on long enough to, to not lose her job over it. Now that's where her story leaves off, but it's not over yet. These are fairly recent. Uh, I in fact was so inspired by her content that I made some content of my own in the same vein. I think it's one of the best, she's created one of the best mediums of TikTok entertainment out there. So, uh, Without further ado, here's a couple of my entries. I'm a poor lumberjack. I have to chop wood every day. It's so tiring. I must do it to make the chopsticks my poor wife uses to cook our food. In America we have something called camping. It's when you're too poor to live in the real house, and are forced to live outside. I also cannot afford food, so I am forced to cook s'mores over a fire. I'm a poor, sad, plastic surgeon. In America, we doctors can barely afford to live in Beverly Hills. My life is so embarrassing. My neighbors laughed at me behind my back because my car is our last year's model. Now, there, like I said, there's tons of other accounts out there, and this is just one of them because I got engrossed and enthralled in her story, in her and, and the way that this is gonna play out. But some of the other ones that I found, uh, here's a here's a good one here. Women work to earn money to support the family and men do the housework at home. She changes 200 tires a day and comes home to cook, do laundry and clean. So this woman is changing all these tires while the man is doing all the housework. I think this is supposed to like emasculate men or something or like get men to come out of the woodworks and be like, I'll take care of you, you tire changing woman. But of course, uh, we got this guy, Republican boy over here. He says, she does more work than every Gen Z girl in the US. <laughs> of course we had some of those people come up. Uh, I would, Matt, Matt V15 says, I wish we had girls like that in America. <laughs> If my work, wife worked like that, I wouldn't expect her to do any cooking. We'd both clean together. No way she'd be doing it all. I think it, it, it got its intended purpose right there. This is potentially my favorite. Now this one is probably, this is Inventor 66. This one's not gonna do super well because it doesn't have that pretty girl aspect. This is like some old IE. But listen to the dialogue of this one. This is probably my favorite. She was the oldest worker in our factory, and her son was sick and needed large sums of money to see a doctor. She works 18 hours a day and keeps only $10 a month for herself. She goes to work and ties her son to the bed with a rope to prevent him from running around. <laughs> It took such a dark turn. Oh, wait, so he's... She goes to work and ties her son to the bed with a rope to prevent him from running around. I get the sob story about her working 18 hours a day, which is just getting outlandish, by the way. Soon it's gonna be 36 hours a day. But he's sick, but apparently she's gotta tie him to the bed to prevent him from running around. Uh, and time to the bed of the rope, of all things. Uh, if you guys go out there on TikTok, you'll be able to find all kinds of great content like this. I recommend you guys probably probably follow follow some of these and see where they go. Um, and don't forget to follow me because who knows where my account is gonna go from here. Uh, I wanna say thank you so much to everyone out there that's been supporting me on patreon.com slash 6 It's been super helpful, I really appreciate it. You guys get to vote on topics. I answer my emails on there every single day. So it's a super good community that we built. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much, Lowners.